What up, YouTube? It's your boy Riley One Hundred, and I'm back, and I'm back. Same day, same day, different vlog. I told you I'm going three. And I'm throwing up blood. We going three vlogs a day, bro. I'm sticking. I'm holding down to my promise, bro. I'm holding down to what I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm grinding, baby. We finna grind all the way through this bitch. Got my camera the wrong way. There we go. We finna grind through this shit. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell, man. Cause look. This is the beginning of a great time and a great channel. So y'all stay tuned in, stay tuned in. Now what I'm finna do right now is because on the last vlog, I told y'all I went to McDonald's. I ain't record myself walking to McDonald's, none of that, right? Went to McDonald's, got my food. I got two meat chickens and them um, medium fry, right? Tell me why they forgot a meat chicken. And I told y'all my car down, so I gotta walk. So I walk all the way there and I walk all the way back. Which ain't a far walk, but still though, I still gotta walk. Cut my car down. And they forgot my mint chicken. I told the lady, I said, look, I got two mint chickens and a medium fry. I would like all that fresh. I like all my food. When I go to fast food or anywhere, fresh, fresh. I don't want my shit. My shit better not have been sitting in them little plastic containers a part of that little steam heat shit. You got me fucked up. So what I'm finna do is I'm finna go get my other mint chicken, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I catch y'all in a little bit. Get my keys. Can't forget these. That's how, you know what I'm saying? I locked myself out of the car, but I ain't gonna never lock myself out of the crib. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah, we finna um, head on to the Mickey D's, man. I'm gonna get my other new chicken. And I want that one fresh too as well, bro. Straight like that. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm walking to the stove with the McDonald's and everything. It's a perfect time to let y'all know, don't ever get discouraged. Like, okay, yeah, my car got into a car accident. Yeah, I took it to the body shop. And, not the body shop, I took it to the dealership. And they did a whole bunch of bullshit. They had my car for four days. And every day it was something else wrong with my car. But that's not what I brought my car there to get it done. Get, get, get it serviced for. It's a lot, you know what I'm saying? And I say that to say this, don't ever fucking give up, bro. Some of y'all stressing and y'all got a job, y'all got money, y'all got income. Nigga, I don't got none of that shit right now, bro. I don't even know how I'm gonna pay my rent next week, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't ever get discouraged, bro. It's always a greater ending. You feel what I'm saying? There's always a greater ending. There's always something else that you could be looking forward to. Don't look down. Don't look sideways. Look straight forward. Don't even look up. Look straight forward. Ain't shit up there. Ain't shit down there. Ain't shit to the side of you. But it's something right there in front of you. You dig what I'm saying? Go get what's in front of you. Damn, I ain't know it's going in there like that. I stay prayed up, cause I know he got my back. Took a couple of hand, now I'm touching a lot of racks. Hell yeah, I'm paid, nigga. Should've known you were pussy, you was tender from the cat. I pass it to my brother, he gon' pass it right back. Used to beat your ass in the bag, y'all remember that? I'm starting to feel like I made niggas. You Neanderthal, thought you turned into a cave, nigga. You been hiding and I heard you duck your face, nigga. Heard I was on the way and you put a leg, nigga. One slip up, all that it takes, nigga. Boy, I go too crazy, boy. Oh, God, bro, I'm one of them for so, sure. like. Y'all make sure when I start dropping, y'all go follow my other um YouTube channel, man. It's Riley 100. It ain't Riley 100 vlogs, it's just Riley 100. That's gonna be my music page. That's what I'm gonna be dropping my music at. Here is Strictly Vlogs. We doing Strictly Vlogs here. That's why it's Riley 100 Vlogs. That's why the other one, matter of fact, it ain't even Riley 100, it's Riley 100 Music. That's my other channel, Riley 100 Music. And this one is Riley 100 Vlogs. Make sure y'all tap in, bro. Real life. But I'm very versatile with this shit. Like, right now I'm on my goddamn, kind of like on my hood, talking about my story and, and talking about, you know what I'm saying, situations in my life right now. But most definitely, bro, I'm trying to get to the female side of shit. Like, I want to be able to be like a Tootsie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? A little Papa. 
niggas like that, you feel me? Honcho, that's what type of lane I'm going for, bro. I don't want to be no, I don't want to every time I go out, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't like me and this, that, and the, I mean, well, that's gonna happen regardless. Like, I'm pretty sure even them niggas, they be getting into it with niggas, but it's just the way you go about things. Like, I don't want to be on the stage all day talking about toting guns and goddamn fucking bitches all the time. Like, I want to be talking about like me and you, one-on-one -on -one vibes. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's my girl. That's my shawty. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Motherfucker, I die for her type shit. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm going to try to just focus on the female tip, but it just seemed like I'm the type of rapper that's like, you know what I'm saying? I talk about my pain and what I've been through. Like, that's all I know how to put on the track. You feel me? Like, my situation, bro, I got to... I'm very versatile, don't get me wrong, but it's just like I'm versatile within talking about my life, if, it, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I know I had to make sure there wasn't nobody behind me, but I be getting, I be getting annoyed a little bit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? No more, no more people shit. You never know what's gonna happen, you feel me? And I ain't even bring my gun with me. But you know, small things to a giant, man. I'm blessed in the name of Jesus, you know what I'm saying? I'm covered in the blood of Jesus, so, you know, through him, he gonna make sure I get back home, for sure. Yeah, we done made it to the um, McDonald's on phone now. And it's been about an hour, so hopefully they let me get my other sandwich. I'm gonna, like, I really do stay a little distance away. So it's like, bro, I need that, you feel me? And I keep flipping my camera the wrong way. I'm supposed to be like, nah, I suppose I had it the right way. Hey, hey, the um, manager still here? I'm gonna need it. Um, she forgot my sandwich earlier, about an hour ago. I had went home. Try to see. Let me go ahead and get out there. Wait, let me handle this. Got there, got there, got there, got there, got there, got there, got there. Well, I ain't, I ain't get the conversation, bro, but goddamn, I should have been recording it happen so fast. She got down telling me she can't give me my McChicken because the lady who cooked the McChicken ain't here. Like, you know what? This is what I be talking about. Instead of just tripping and blanking out, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't even do none of that shit. All right, y'all got it. Just won't be having none of my services no more. I don't even fuck with McDonald's like that, but, you know, only when I'm broke, you feel me? Like, it's a budget meal, you feel me? So, they can have it. They can have it. I ain't gonna get mad. I ain't gonna trip. You can have the other sandwich. So I thought you said right. Yeah, you thought wrong. I ain't no, you can't think. You don't get paid for thinking. You get paid for goddamn working, bitch. See, there I go. But anyways, yeah. So I'm on the way back to the crib. I just walked up here for nothing, but it's all good. We finna head back to the house, man. I see y'all when I get back to the crib. I done made it back to the crib, y'all. And yeah, that bitch was tripping, but it's all good. I ain't gonna too much. Sweat that hoe, but um, bro, it's hot as fuck in this house, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been staying here for about two years now, well, going on two years, and I don't know how to run the eight, like I don't know how to, the perfect temperature. I know everybody different, right? But like, it's too hot in here, bro. And then when I turn down to seventy, I be feeling chilly. And seventy supposed to feel like you know what I'm saying? Like I be chilling here, so I turn up to seventy five. 76, 77, get burning hot in here. Like, you see me sweating, like, let me take off my shirt. You see me sweating and shit. So I gotta take my shirt off, you feel me? You know, I am in a, I do do a little bit of fitness, you know what I'm saying? I do 100 push-ups a day, 100 sit-ups with crunches and 100 squats, you feel me? So I try to keep myself up the, up the par. Now I gotta focus on that diet, because as you can see, you nigga went to goddamn Big Donald's. So, excuse me. Excuse me. Hopefully that's the last one. But yeah, man, Um, 
Shit is crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Shit is going to be crazy. Shit is going to stay crazy. So you just got to goddamn adjust to the craziness. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever get mad. Don't ever get discouraged because you got another chance tomorrow. You got another chance tomorrow. So don't ever, don't ever get discouraged. Don't ever, bro. For example, shout out Wallow 100. A damn, um, one of them damn safety shits came to my phone, like Amber Alert, that's what it's called. So take um, Wallow, for instance. Wallow, I forgot the numbers in his shit. Take him, for instance, man, that man did like 20, 25 years in prison. Came home and in five years made a whole 360. That, that man making billions, not billions, he's making good money. I don't know if he's making millions, but he's definitely making six figures a month for sure. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever get discouraged, man. It's been people on the side of the road holding a sign every day that ain't got their shit together. You feel me? If you not one of them, even them, bro, don't feel bad because you can have, like the like I said, you can wake up tomorrow or a month from now or two months from now or a year from now and shit will be a totally different situation. So like, don't be discouraged, man. Don't don't get it. Don't get don't don't get it twisted, bro. Don't get it twisted, bro. Don't get it twisted, bro. I'm gonna say that one more time. Don't get it twisted, bro. Don't get that shit twisted. Don't let that shit fuck with you, man. You you gonna make it, bro. As long as you believe in yourself, bro, the universe will take care of you, bro. But one thing you gotta do, and that I don't do, is plan, bro. Every day you gotta have a type of, okay, 12 o'clock, I'm gonna do this. One o'clock, I'm gonna do that. Three o'clock, I'm gonna do this. Four o'clock, I'm gonna do that. Eight o'clock, I'm gonna, um, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know what time power come on? You're gonna be ready for that. You'll make, you'll, you'll, you'll put everything to the side for that power. And that BMF, and that, um, and that, um, what's the name of that show? Um, um, South Baddies. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop. Love or whatever the case, bro. Basketball wise, y'all will put everything to the side for that. Literally, everything to the side. But you won't put nothing to the side that's gonna make you go up. You feel me? Yeah, I still got powder on my chest. I was wondering what the hell that was. But yeah, man, this is what I do though. I, I, I when I talk to my friends, I talk to my friends like this. When I talk to my mama, I talk to my mama like this. When I talk to my grandma, I talk to my grandma like this. You know what I'm saying? When I talk to the women that I be talking to and the ones that I like, I talk to them like this. Whether you like it or not, because I'm not going to change for nobody, bro. I'm going up. Either you're going to hop on that goddamn, that ride with me, that 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 that, 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 um, that rocket ship. You're going to hop on that rocket ship with me and we're going to take off. Well, your ass going to stay down here on the land, nigga, while we up in space, nigga, doing what the fuck we want to do. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Because I'm going to make it, bruh. Facts. I'm going to make it, bruh. I'm going to make it, bruh. One more time. I'm going to make it, bruh. That's crazy. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> this YouTube shit funny, bro. I can't believe this shit, man. I always want to do this shit. And I, I, I really got the drive now. I really got the time now. I really... And I, like... And I understand what the YouTube be saying. This shit is kind of like, now that I'm getting, I'm not getting used to it at all. Let me not say that. Let me not lie to y'all. But what I, what I am trying to say is, is like, what I'm trying to say is, is like, when you're in front of this camera, or you know that's what you finna, like, when you wake up, you just know you got to grab that camera. Like, that's, that's what it is. Like, and I keep saying like, I, I heard myself say like a thousand times. But y'all get what I mean. These YouTubers, they be stressed out because they record all the time. You feel me? Like, they always got to have their camera. Their whole life is on camera. When I woke up this morning, I said, dang. Yeah, I'm going to do my three vlogs like I said. I got to hold myself accountable, bro. I got to hold myself accountable, bro. got to hold myself accountable, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, bro. Like, and some days you're not gonna wanna do it. Some days you are gonna wanna do it. Some days you're gonna be one to overdo it. You feel me? But don't never ever get discouraged, man, because life is, it ain't over, bro. 
It ain't over. God forbid if I lose all of this, my car, my apartment, bro, it is not over, bro. I'm not finna be stressed and I'm not finna be mad. I'm finna learn and move accordingly, move forward. You feel what I'm saying? My mama and them, they stressed out by my situation. They probably wake up and be like, damn, I'm okay. Don't worry. What is you worried about? What is you worried about? Like you're gonna get knocked down, but you gotta get back up, baby. You're gonna get knocked down, but you gotta get back up, baby. No matter what situation, you think these rich folks gonna be taking L's with lessons? You don't think they'll be taking lessons? When you go out of town and, and you slap somebody in their face and they sue you, you don't think that's a damn, you don't think that's a lesson? You don't think they coming out of pocket? All right. You don't think sometimes these dudes' cars be getting repo? They gotta take their chain back. Got evicted from they from they from they mansion. For real, bro. Everybody go through things, bro. But the worst thing you can do while you're going through something is stress out, bro. That's the worst thing you can do. Is stress yourself to death. Why would you do that? When you already going through a Traumatic time, I would say. It ain't even traumatic. It's just a lesson, bro. You can get you another apartment. You can get you another car. You can get you another girl. You can get you another boyfriend. You can get those other pair of shoes if you fuck them up. It's, it's replaceable. Don't be mad about things you can't replace. There's certain things that you can't replace, bro. Like, so it just is what it is. Something that you can replace. Don't be mad if you can replace it. Don't be mad if you can replace it. Don't be, don't, 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 don't stress out or get mad, period. Because you're only going to hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I need a haircut. And last week was, last Friday, last Saturday was my day to go get my haircut. But as y'all know, I don't have a job. I don't got no money. And I hate to say that, but I don't care. But I'm going to be real with y'all. Because I like being real with me. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to act like I'm this. And I'm not. I, don't, I, I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Because I got confidence. I'm ready to. But like. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can't do that shit. You can't do that shit, bro. But nah, man. I'm going to end the vlog right here, man. Hope y'all have a good night. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, bro, don't ever get discouraged, bro. It's not that serious, bro. I used to get super mad, bro. I used to get thrown off, bro. Like my whole day fucked up off of one situation. I'm not talking to people because I'm mad at a situation that don't even mean shit, bro. It ain't about shit. It ain't about nothing, bro. That McDonald's situation, I could have slapped the hell out of that lady. I could have did anything in the world. My own boy trying to invite me to the game. I could do anything in the world, bro, but I didn't. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification notification bell. And we finna go up, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Join the one family or the Wando game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lock in with me. We good, bro. And I'm gonna take care of y'all for real. I love y'all in peace.